This apparently is the trail. But that's what I'm walking through. So these Oh, that's my foot. And that's my shoe. My dumbass left the tripod in the car. So we're gonna see how well this works. And I fogged up the middle of the lens. I've already hiked about two and a half kilometers. Don't feel like hiking back. I'm gonna handhold this bad boy today. I am in Bon Echo Provincial Park doing the Abe's and Essence loop. It's only like uh, 15 kilometers. So seven and a half in today. Seven and a half in. Seven and a half out tomorrow. I have the next four days off. And anybody in Ontario knows that it's impossible to book anything ever for backcountry. So I just I happened to go on last night. <laughs> like midnight. So I wonder if, and well I managed to snag a site halfway through the trail which is perfect. However, I decided to trail run like the first kilometer because there was a wasp just like circling around my head. <sighs> that was fun. Not a huge fan of kicking off the trail with a trail run. But that's when I gotta say, packing light makes a huge difference. Because it wasn't that bad. I'm trying to figure out how to hold this thing. How to hold this thing without a tripod. I think I've got it. I've got like the claw happening. Pretty metal, if you ask me. So. Bon Echo is probably my favorite place to go car camping. But I decided to give the backcountry a try. Came here once last year in the fall. Because I managed to snag a site after work and it's only like a two hour drive. But I only did like five kilometers into like the first site. And then 5k back out because they were calling for thunderstorms by 10 a.m. So I wanted to just get the heck out of there before that happened. So this time I'm doing the whole loop. But it's starting to rain out. And they weren't calling for rain when I checked. So hopefully this is short-lived. And I can go back to enjoying some nice weather. Mosquitoes have been pretty good though. So that's nice. So very excitedly start crossing the bridge to the other side of the lake. Which means I'm only 4k out. Well, it just came down something like this, but up we go. So last year when I did this trail, I was wearing Solomon Sensori 3s. <sighs> and I hated the trail for how like look how many rocks are just like chilling. This is actually a lot lighter than the earlier section of the trail, but the whole beginning of the trail it feels like you're you're just walking on rocks the whole time. But I've got to say, the difference between the Sense Ride Threes and the Lone Peaks is like night and day. Also, I'm trying to figure out why I thought Solomon was a good shoe choice for me, considering I have wide feet 
and they're known for their narrow shoes. <sighs> Poor decisions. So, I ran into some people who were doing a day hike up the trail. And, of course, I do as anybody does and ask how the trail is up ahead. And they told me buggy. And before I was saying how the bugs weren't bad, but I think it's because I was in such like a trafficked area with good I don't want water management, good water management. That's what I'm using for now. But now I'm getting to spots where it's a little more muddy, definitely a little more buggy. And I should have worn long sleeves. Not because I care about being bitten. It's like if I get bitten, I get bitten. But I have a tattoo appointment this weekend, which is exciting because they've been closed forever and I booked it back in like November and it is now July. Things are finally open now. Man, this is overgrown. Really, not too many people come out here. So yeah, my tattoo artist reached out to me and said I'm open again. So going on Saturday, which will be uh, yesterday, probably by the time this goes up. It's funny because I did Algonquin with my brother-in-law last weekend. I was in a like just horrible spirits the first day. So I recorded basically nothing. And the second day was so hot. Oh, there's mosquitoes. The second day was so dang hot. It was like 96 degrees. <laughs> that my camera was just fogging up the whole time. Which was super fun. So I'm still trying to edit like <laughs> what I can from that and put it up. Uh, but. I don't know when that's gonna be. So yeah, the video from this weekend is definitely gonna go up before the one from last. Sometimes that's just how, how things work out. I decided it was time for a break. Or something, something chirping. I've got about 3K left. I think I've got about five so far. Um, I took a different route than I had planned when I came in just because I wanted to get on the trail and the first part I had was a road walk so I took a longer trail part and that's cool but yeah it's nice to get out this week was chaotic I felt like I was going like just non-stop all week so Two eventful things just happened. Uh, the trail disappeared for a second. So I decided to just make my way back onto the trail. So I got a nice gash in my leg. And then I found a waterfall and I'm like, cool. Not like a real waterfall. I, just, I found a nice babbling brook <laughs> and I went to go just take some B-roll of it. Take a couple photos. <laughs> and while I was doing that, I am fairly confident I got bit on the eyelid by a mosquito. And I've shared this with a couple people before, but when I was in like, when I was in high school, I went to a uh, camp for like a week. And on the first night, while I was sleeping, a mosquito bit my eyelid. My eye was swollen shut for the whole time. So I'm really hoping that I grabbed it before it actually bit so it doesn't swell up and that I don't have to go the next few days with a very swollen eyelid. That's all. Also, this part of the trail is um, not as well groomed 
as the rest of it. Lots of just stuff on the trail. Yeah, the view is pretty cool. A little marsh. Oh, that's a wasp. So camera's gonna go off. So jazz, set up the tent, make some food, and just to sit. Should probably clean up this leg too. Been just walking through the brush for like the last whatever hour. Oh, this is great. That does not look great, but could be worse. Now I need to figure out where exactly I'm going to set up my tent. Because there's lots of roots. And the site kind of runs just in the middle of a trail. So that's not great. dinner it was okay maybe this is just me but I can never rehydrate peak refuel properly I'll even add in a little bit of extra water let it sit just a little bit longer and the chicken was still like not rehydrated so I don't know if anyone has any pro tips for peak refuel please let me know the tent is set up, got my sleeping pad set up, and I'm really glad that I bring a little foam thin light style mattress to go underneath the Uber light. Because I am totally sleeping on a decline. Uh, and I don't love to do that, but there's literally nowhere else that's big enough to fit the tent. And this is the disadvantage of freestanding tents, not freestanding tents. Currently just chilling in the tent. I needed to just like lie down for a bit. I don't know if it was that there was so much part of the trail that was like just not a trail or what. Because there's not even a lot of uh, elevation change here. But I am beat. Could be because I decided to get up at 5 this morning. Because, you know, day off means that I'm still going to check my emails and finish some things instead of waiting until Monday. So I'm beat. I'm lying down. It looks like it's going to rain. Not supposed to rain. I'm hoping it doesn't. Because I kind of want to start a fire. I don't know though, there's no fire ban currently, but the trail was pretty dry and there's also a whole bunch of wildfires happening in Northern Ontario. And although I'm not in Northern Ontario, uh, they just don't need to add to the fire. So that's that. 
Anyway, I'm gonna sit here and put on Backpacker Radio, I think. I downloaded like seven episodes of the podcast that I have not listened to. Probably gonna do that, chill for a bit, maybe a snack. I don't know. I'll be back in a bit. Well, it did, in fact, start raining, which is fine. I um, had all my stuff everywhere on the picnic table because I was just getting organized. That's right. This set has a picnic table. Um, yeah, so I had to quickly throw everything that needed to go into the tent, into the tent. Um, hung my food. Now I'm just hanging out. It's like 7.30, so... Uh, probably still gonna be awake for another couple hours. Had two dinners though. Second dinner, rehydrated much better. The worst part, any morning ever. Right, we are all packed up. It is 7.45 got seven and a half kilometers to go and it's real sunny out today so my goal is to get back to my car by 10 I've got some stuff to do this afternoon when I get home so just want to crush out the rest of this trail everything is sharp and pointy Oh. <laughs> this apparently is the trail. But that's what I'm walking through. So these Oh, that's my foot. And that's my shoe. I'm surprised I didn't lose my shoe to be honest. <laughs> like I went down to my knee in that hole there. Well, um, oh, apparently can't catch my step at all today. As for a review of this trail, um, there's a lot of bushwhacking, like a lot. So I'm gonna just keep focusing on that for a little bit until I'm on a more traffic part of the loop. So I'm in loop three, which connects to loop two, which connects to loop one. And from the people I was talking to, most people do loop one and loop two, and then turn around at loop two. Whereas the site I was at was in loop three. So probably why <laughs> this is also overgrown. I feel my legs are all cut up. That's fine. Just gonna... <laughs> Giant mosquitoes on my hand. God. Glad I brought a change of clothes. And something to clean off with. This is the trail apparently. All right, this is going on for a bit. So, I'm out of <laughs> what I think is the thick of it. Into the thick of it! Everything got up to like <laughs> my elbows. I am soaking wet from waist down, which is, it's all right. Uh, at least I don't have to worry about getting too hot because the rain last night was on all of the things I was brushing up against. It was cold. So, now I'm in just spooky forest land. Reminds me of Halloween. And where did the trail go? Some blowouts that have obviously been here a while. There's <laughs> horse flies everywhere. There's not even mosquitoes, just horse flies. Oh, moving a little bit slower than I had hoped 
Um, when I'm really focused, I do about 5k an hour, which is about 3 miles an hour. <sighs> Going like 3.5k, it's like 1 and a bit, 1.5 miles an hour. <sighs> Just fine, I'll make up for it later because I know the trail's pretty flat up ahead. But, wow, that was, that was tough. I didn't expect it to be tough. Thought it was gonna be pretty easy. There's also a water spot on my lens, so I need to fix that. The other problem I've got here now is that my battery light is on for my camera. So if anyone owns an M50, because that's what I use, they'll understand the frustration that is you can't charge via USB. So it always brings some extra batteries. Problem is, I think I just threw them into my ditty bag. And because my tent was wet, I packed it on the outside and threw, just, just stuffed everything on the inside. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to stop at some point, pull that out. <laughs> this is what I get for not doing what I normally do, but that's okay. <sighs> uh oh. Up ahead looks to be more um, <laughs> elbow tall brush. Right, almost out of loop three. Thank God. Uh, that was far more challenging than I ow, would have liked, but you know what? It's good. It's a test, it's perseverance, and I think it builds some resilience, especially when you're out here doing this by yourself. Cause like, <laughs> it's really easy to just mentally check out and say, I can't do this anymore and turn back. <laughs> and I thought about it. Um, but then I also thought about how terrible it would be to go back through all that terrible part again. So yeah. Just kept pushing through, and I made it. Everything's okay. My feet are definitely soaked though. And, because I'm trying to talk to a camera and walk at the same time, I'm tripping over the rocks. But yeah, so once I finish this last kilometer, I think, I'll be at the lake, and then the section of loop two that I'm doing today versus yesterday is shorter and the section of loop one that I'm doing today versus yesterday is also shorter. So, it's good. Got the big, bad, gnarly piece of the trail done and out of the way. Probably stop at the lake to find the other battery before this thing dies. <sighs> Grind out the last four kilometers. Yeah, I'm already about a little over three and a half in. Switching to my phone. Because my camera had died while I was filming the last clip. But good news is... That's a lake. So, I'm just going to finish out this. I feel like bringing my phone would probably be a little bit easier for video. But, uh... It's also my GPS, and I'm like, oh, if it dies, that's no good. So, I mean, I have a paper map. <laughs> but paper maps don't tell me exactly where I'm at. And digital are really great. I got to a section where the horse flies were gone. But the mosquitoes were bad. So I was like, oh, well, coming up to a clearing. Can stop there. So the horse flies are back and I'm actually pretty far away from the lake a lot further than I thought. Probably like 150 feet back so no stopping yet. Managed to dig out my backup battery which is good found a nice spot. It's a little closer to the lake. Zero bugs. This is 
is Little Rock Lake. Let's just hang out there for a little bit. Drink some water. Now I've got three and a half to 4K left. Not sure. <laughs> Using um, all trails to navigate. And, well, I'm sure everyone knows who's used all trails, it's never the most accurate. So, I try and go on and look at other people's completed routes as I'm planning out mine to get a better idea of what actually is going to happen. But I didn't do that this time because I couldn't find one that had the whole loop. So, that's fine. There's actually a campsite on this lake and I didn't know that it was there. It's a pretty big one and it's all by itself, which is also kind of nice. Just, you know. The other ones aren't super close by any means. But there are people, you can see them, you can hear them. Whereas this is like, completely secluded off by itself, which is really nice. Oh. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'll be back. That wasn't so bad needed my hands to get down that one. And I think I'm far enough away from the site now. They won't hear me. But I was really frustrated. Because along the trail were three bags. Like three reusable grocery totes. Which I'm assuming were their food bags. And they had them like just hung off a branch no bear hang or anything. And there are black bears here. It's just, it's frustrating because it's, luckily their stuff wasn't taken. First of all, look pretty relatively unharmed. Sorry, I lost the trail for a second there. But just like, I heard wolves howling, I know that there's coyotes here, and bears, and it's just like, hang your shit, man. Just do it properly. Because then this is what makes it dangerous for other people, and for the animals themselves, too. Because if an animal gets too comfortable being around people, taking their food, they dispose of the animal, whether that's relocation or sometimes they do kill it. So, it's just frustrating. Do your part, hang your food, or bring a bear can, I don't care. Just something that an animal cannot get into. Oh boy, we made it to loop. Wait, two. I can't point. We made it to loop two. That's exciting. I was so excited to see the sign that I went down the wrong path to the longer part that I did yesterday. So, let's go back a bit. And there was some media elevation gain, which is good. But now, back on the path. Man, I really miss my tripod right now. This is tough on the arms. Oh God. There's more. I thought this section of the trail was supposed to be flat. It is not flat. There's a lot of up. A lot of up. Not a lot of down. So, 
I'm hoping I'm coming up to some descents. Oh. I am thinking about the McDonald's. That is gonna happen when I'm done here. And I'm very excited. Do I go for like, you know, burger? <laughs> so that's super weird. Burger? Do I go for the chicken nuggets? I don't know. All I know is I'm really hungry. I don't feel like eating any snacks though. Finish loop two. Starting loop one. Now this is the part that I've never gone. So I'm supposed to cross across here. And then there should be a trail back to the road. Do a little road walk at the end. This is the way I meant to come up yesterday. But I couldn't find out where the trail entrance was. So I just didn't. It's sunny over here. Okay, so back here again. So the difference is, so take that same bridge across, and then, let's see here, and then I go back along, all the way out and around the lake. So, fingers crossed I can find the spot. Let's see. Water level is like super high. I mean, you can tell by the trail ahead that's submerged. But, like, let's see here. All the flowers are like halfway up with water. But there's lots of bees out. I guess they're pollinating, making honey, doing as bees do. Okay. So around here should be where the trail splits. That is a branch. That's what I get for bringing trekking poles that I only apparently use to pitch my tent lately. So. Loop one exit. That, that looks like that might be the place. This is so hard. This is reverse for some reason, but loop one exit. Off I go. Bam. All right, 15.4K, done. Uh, the first half of that trail, as in yesterday, super easy, uh, even though it was a bit overgrown at the end. Um, you know, nothing wild. Today though, today was trying. Uh, there was some serious bushwhacking. There were some blowdowns. Uh, I've got scrapes on my arms and legs from <laughs> just thorns everywhere um, and the mosquitoes were super bad today so it's done kick its butt I'm gonna go get McDonald's and yeah thanks for sticking around thanks for watching if you like this video hit that like button subscribe um, hit the little bell get notifications when I do release new videos um, I'm hoping to do a video every Sunday Last week it didn't happen, but uh, it, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I got now. I've got enough kilometers, miles, whatever system you're on, uh, using the DD40, the Dan Durston pack, the Durston gear pack. Um, so I'm gonna do a review of it now that I've I've taken it on about 100 150k, which is pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, I will see you all on the next one.